Do you have any bad habits? We're about to talk about some of the most common and most annoying. Tiny cups. Welcome to Tiny Cups with Peter Tracy. I'm here with my good pal, Simon Brooks. <clears throat> also known as Simon Says. The Big Kahuna. Brooks' brother. And uh, Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan. <laughs> It's actually my oldest nickname. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna be honest with you today. Our cups are not that tiny. It's early in the morning. We're filming early. We're compensating. They're today. filled with. They're filled with coffee. Simon, do you have any bad habits? Now I know the answer to this question. Yes, I do have bad habits. <laughs> I. The list pretty go, goes on and on. I. I guess my most notable one is that I twirl my hair like this. I don't know if you can get a shot of this, but yeah, uh, that's not. That's most not a natural quaff. Yeah, like I do it pretty much any time there's anything worth thinking about. A couple times uh, a day, a couple times an hour. Yeah. I think I, only other people that I know that do this are girls. <laughs> I used to do that when I was like six. Or six-year-olds. So girls and <laughs> six-year-olds, that's where, the group I'm in. Yeah, if your beard was longer, would you? Uh, I think I would. I think when it was a little, a little longer, curly I, tried, I tried to, but it was like, it sort of teased me. I also bite my nails, which is such a gross habit. Do you ever bite your nails? I don't bite them, I just sort of like pick at them. Which someone made fun of me the other day for my nails. Like, oh, you don't have very attractive nails. You get all, well, I mean, uh, to be okay. fair, they're not very pretty, but like, also, to be I don't fair, care about that. Yeah, honestly. And he showed me his fingernails and they're all like long and pristine and like, come on, come, son. Come on. Come on, son. That's also one of Can your you give habits. me some beef? That's a habit of yours. Oh, uh, I guess I do have a lot of vocal habits, I say. Come on, son. I think, I think it was when you I started drinking. Her. I think it was when you started drinking. I don't know if it's a fratty. You you have this, like, fratty, douchey voice you can go into. When you're like, Ooh, come on, that. son. Come on. Come on, son. And yeah. now, the newest vocal habit that I have is going, yeah. 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 Which... Is, I think it's hilarious, but sometimes in certain contexts, I'm like, I really need to stop. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> probably most. Now that you're about to graduate and go in the real world, you can't be at like a boardroom meeting or like some sort of like, office uh, thing. Like the growth, uh, uh, mergers. Yeah. Oh, Pete, did you finish that report? Uh, yo, Pete, I'm going to the break room. Should I grab you some coffee? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pete. And then me in a suit. Yeah. Well, we stumbled upon a list here of uh, some different habits that gross other people out, and we're just going to start throwing some out there to discuss. Picking your teeth. I don't who, know anyone who picks. I was their about teeth. to say, who does that? Yeah. Also, I guess you know what? There's one instance when people pick their teeth with a toothpick. I guess is yeah. That, is that what they're talking about? I no, like that's no, just... no. I don't think that's right. Oh, there have been. There's. Oh, it says even with toothpick. Yeah, there's utensils designed to but, facilitate this habit. It's yeah. one of Maine's biggest industries, or at least it was at some point. I don't know if it still is. It, right? I hope it's not. All right, isn't Maine, like, make great toothpicks? Maine, the toothpick state. Yeah, no one's going to come here because they're like, oh, that grosses me out. Yeah. Picking teeth. That almost makes it seem like they're the plaque of the... Maine is like the plaque of the United States. I feel like it's the plaque remover. Plaque remover? Yeah, because you're scratching the teeth. I got it. Coughing or sneezing without covering your mouth. Oh. That's just a given. Yeah. That's... I have a slight cold right now. It's probably because someone did this. God damn it. Honestly, if you're not, if you have this habit past the age of what, 11? If you're still coughing and sneezing without covering your mouth? <clears throat> I think you deserve like a little bit of like a backhand. When I was three, I used to do that on purpose to annoy my brother. Sneeze on him? <laughs> or cough on him? Both. There's a video of my brother on his birthday uh, getting a birthday cake, and I start coughing a little bit, and he's like, Peter, don't cough on my cake. And I just go, uh, 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 you know, really? Peter, stop! <laughs> I was a jerk to my older brother. When I was on a plane one time, I was flying to uh, South Africa. Well, we were stopping in Dubai, so it was a really long plane ride. I was sitting next to this guy. I was sleeping like this. And I just, in my sleep, 
Choo! He would sneeze these <laughs> all over him, and he, he literally woke me up and was like, Do you know what you just did? <laughs> and I was like, no. Like an officer pulling over, uh, excuse me, do you have any uh, idea why I woke you up? And I was like, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I know I don't. He's like, he just sneezed all <laughs> over me. And I was like, oh, are you sure it was me? He's like, yeah, it was you. Some people snore, others sneeze. That sucks for the guy that you sneezed on, but yeah, it was like out of your out of your hands a little bit. Yeah. Also, and out of the guy's face. How about this nasty habit? Burping, just belching right out in public, just. Burp. It's kind of it's kind of gross. It's it depends good. on the burp. Yeah. Look. Yeah. I mean, I'm of of the opinion that burping is still funny. <laughs> it's <laughs> funny, but. It's it's bizarre, you know. It's kind of like farting. Like I think farting is hilarious, but if it just in public situations or like you're talking about business meetings or if you're in a class and someone just rips it, rips one. <laughs> I mean, how can you not keep a straight face? Or <laughs> lets out a huge belch. Dude, I was like because belching is is more acceptable than farting. And so people will just sometimes people will just let out burps. You think just that? Are like, you? Do you think that? Do you think like, that when you eat something, hell? when you eat something down here, you have to just you can make the choice like, how's it going out? Are you No, but I'm saying if people fart, they might either hold it in or Go let it somewhere else. Yeah, or like you can sort of finagle your body so that it slides out instead of yeah. just like erupting. Because you know what farting is, right? It's but like the, the sound. Butt burping, right? You know what the sound is? No. It's the sound of your. Is this. Are you making a butt rip? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what a butt. Yeah. It's like slapping together at rapid pace. Yeah, but like, like, you know what? I make the sound like. That's like my lips vibrating. Yeah. And when you hear a huge slapper coming from someone's fart. That's slapping. Do you think that people you, that people that have really loose buttholes, they just it sounds like an exhale then? It's just like Yes! I'm saying that's Yes. Like Darth Vader? Yeah. So it might not be that constant. But it still has the power to suffocate. It does. <laughs> still a Jedi Master. I was in a class once. It was a, like a hundred person <laughs> econ class. It was like a huge econ intro class. And this freshman football player sat in the front and would fall asleep every day. <laughs> and one day he fell asleep and was like, kind of snoring, but like uh, not enough to like, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> he rips the loudest fart I've ever heard. Like, <laughs> <laughs> And this is, what, this is what he does. Everyone in the class, the <coughs> professor stops, everyone's like, oh, oh, and then he goes like he's this. sleeping. He goes like this, oh. Like it wakes him up, but then he doesn't acknowledge, everybody looks around and he goes, falls back. That's like, worse than what you did to the guy in the plane. And the professor just like, <laughs> <coughs> didn't know what to do. Chewing with your mouth open. Let me try it. I drink with my mouth open. <laughs> That's so yeah, hard to swallow. Let me try it. Try swallowing with your mouth open. <laughs> it's so. <laughs> that was someone's bad habit. <laughs> Sorry. Honey, drink with your mouth closed. <laughs> Picking your nose. Honestly, can I say something? Can I say something like a little PSA announcement about this? Everybody I just, wish it wasn't frowned upon. It wasn't a, a faux pas, if you will. I feel like, yeah, like, come on. It feels so much better after. Make your stand and pick your nose on camera. You know, make it, you just did a PSA, oh yeah. You used to PSA. I don't got anything stuff. in there right now. Let's demonstrate. You know, just saying hello. Yeah. I want to put that under the table. <laughs>
We gotta improvise a song, Simon. Lazy Susan style. What's the song? That's why they call you Lazy Susan. Can you turn on the tables? <laughs> Pass the salt. <laughs> Which genre do you wanna try? <coughs> you I love musicals. You wanna, like mu you wanna do like a musical theater style? Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Am I singing? Yes. I'm sitting with Pete. We just talked about nasty feet. I seized on a Plane. It felt so insane. Then I went to the show. Little did I know that I was picking my nose on camera. What did I do now? Tiny cups. A filthy habit about to erupt. Tiny cups, they're not that small today, guess what we're gonna have a good day, yay! What'd you think? <laughs> it, was like, it was like almost turned into like a theme song for Tiny Cups. Yeah.